what is digital marketing welcome to this channel in today's video we will learn about what digital marketing is and the seven pillars of digital marketing if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and turn on notification so that you don't miss anything let's head over to my system and talk about digital marketing proper Digital marketing is simply marketing done through electronic channels like radio, digital billboards, TV, or other computerized device devices. With the advancement of technology, people consider it digital marketing as any marketing done on the internet. But there are seven big pillars of digital marketing, one of which is search engine optimization or SEO. This is the process of optimizing your online content so that search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo would like to show it on their search results when they search for related keywords. So people use SEO to rank for particular keywords. If you want to rank for a particular keyword so that when Google, Bing or other search engine scoop a keyword that's related to your own, yours can also possibly show. And this happens when people are searching for content online with related keywords. That you want to rank for. Search engine marketing is similar to SEO but when you pay for visibility to gain traffic from search engines then it is rather called search engine marketing instead of search engine optimization. An example of this is seen with Google Ads. So when you pay Google Ads to show your content on the internet through search engines it is search engine marketing. Content marketing on the other hand it's an online marketing approach focused on creating and distributing valuable content to attract and retain loyal readers and eventually drive valuable customer action. This customer action that you're driving through providing valuable content may mean you know to generate leads through giving them forms on your blog to fill in their personal details like name, email addresses, and phone number. It could also mean that you're educating them or entertaining them through your blog content so that you eventually show them links to other content that you may want to sell, like products and services. Pay-per-click marketing, or PPC, as it is called, you know, is an online marketing strategy used by advertisers. In this case, they place ads on search engines, blogs, or other online advertising platforms and get charged only when someone clicks on the ads. An example is Google AdSense. When you advertise through PPC, Google places your ads on different blogs and you only get charged when someone clicks on the ads. So a fraction of the revenue is going to the blog owner and maybe a larger fraction goes to Google. Email marketing is one of the most popular ones. This is a process of sending various types of messages through emails to people who have subscribed to your list. These emails can be used to directly market and sell products and services or generate leads or even traffic to people's blog, YouTube channel or other places on the internet. Email marketing has generated people a lot of leads and money in recent times and in the past. Social media marketing. This is the use of social networks to promote goods and services. Ideally, social media is a place where people exchange content like videos, audios, pictures, and celebrate themselves. But the owners of these social media platforms have used the opportunity to run ads so that when people pay for these ads, they can get profit and also increase the visibility of people's content. However, social media marketing is not all about paid ads. It also involves organic marketing where people who are on the platform can market their products and services without necessarily paying you know the owners of the platform examples of social media platform include twitter instagram tiktok whatsapp pinterest LinkedIn, even youtube and of course facebook the social media giant affiliate marketing this is the marketing idea where people can end by promoting other people's products or services in this case you don't need to own any product or services when someone else creates their content on the internet your duty is to promote them and earn percentage or commission from your work. If you're anyone involved in promoting other people's stuff on the internet, then you are called an affiliate or an affiliate marketer. Mm -hmm.